Hey guys, hey everyone, welcome to the camp. It's your girl Twin B and thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for being here. Let's jump straight into your message everyone. Let's jump in. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right. Ooh. Oh, my Lord. This is what's... <laughs> This is what's holding your masculine back. And the cards are flying out. Let's look at what we have here. Mm -hmm. There's somebody in your divine masculine's ho um, household here that's keeping them back. This may be a parent. This may be a parent that's keeping your masculine's back. Stopping your masculine's from making the decision that they want to make. There may be someone around your divine masculine who is very flirtatious as well. That's trying to trying to um I can't it's hard to find the words. It's like trying to manipulate the divine masculine using sexual energy. For some, the Divine Masculine is the one holding themselves back. But there is someone around your Masculine that's trying to get them to see the light. But their own mind, their own mind is what's holding them back. Oh, Jesus. Their own mind. You have inconstancy. There is something that your divine masculine should let go off of, but it's like they refuse to. They refuse to. Whatever they say is, is keeping them trapped, is keeping them stuck. It's the in and the out, the inconstancy. Your Divine Masculines here, it's like they, they want to send you a message as well. There's something they want to explain. But they can't explain it. So that's keeping them back. It's like every time they try to explain something to you, every time they try to send that message, they withdraw that message. They withdraw that message. For some, loss of money. For some, it's a money issue that's keeping them from returning. That's keeping them from becoming stuck. And for some, It's a family situation that they've been in for a while and it's hard. Maybe this is what they're holding on to that they refuse to let go off of. No matter what the condition is, no matter what they're facing in that condition, it's like these are my masculine feel like they should hold on to it because they have put a lot into it. But like if it's not serving you, then you gotta let it go, you know? And for others, this journey, these new feelings, they don't understand it. So they're staying away. Because every time they come around you, they get this funny feeling. A feeling they don't understand. It's a good feeling. It feels pretty good. But they can't control it. It's like first time before they used to be able to 
turn their heart on, turn it off whenever they feel like. But now they can't control their heart from turning on. When they see you, they can't control it. When they're in your presence, they can't control it. Their heart wants you. And they cannot stop it. <laughs> they can't stop it. Oh my God. Let's see what's going on with this widow. Oh my Lord. Yeah. Your person is definitely going through this separation here. Your person was in. I'm saying was. Because they are going through the separation. Maybe they're not in the same place, the same location, the same home. But your Divine Masculine here is seeing truth and clarity about this connection, about this person. This person, like I said, it could be a mother. Or it could be a baby mom, whoever it is, a sister that's a mom. But this person here was like all lies <laughs> to the Divine Masculine. But your Divine Masculine separating themselves from these people. Because once again, their heart is yearning for you, longing for you. And it's like, they cannot, I can't let these people tell me what to do anymore. I can't stay in my codependent ways any longer. This block that was stopping your Divine Masculine was a very controlling energy. Very controlling energy. But your Masculines are doing their healing. Focusing on themselves. So now they can make that decision. I don't want you to tell me what to do. Not allowing things, people, to tell them what to do. Now tell me about this country house. 343 and 727. My gosh. My gosh. These energies have a lot to say today. You have seduction, unconditional loving, breakup, separation. Of course, they're, they're going to be separating themselves from these people. When they start to love themselves and they start to realize that I need to do things for my own good, for my own purpose. Let go off of the codependency. Stop allowing others to control my life. Like I said, this person here was using seduction to keep your person stuck. Ding, ding. Maybe your person um, was addicted like to sex or something like that and this person around them they know it this person is in their home this person is like a lover here and they use it again the divine masculine let's put you down here i don't want to see <laughs> well your divine masculine is breaking free from those situations your person is not even talking to them only if they have to you're not even conversing with these people because they're setting boundaries. Tell me more about this consultant as to what's keeping them back here. Oh my lord. Man. Man, they're chatting today. They're chatting today. You have the golden mirror. So your divine masculines are realizing that they're in one-sided relationships. That they were being self self absorbed. They are realizing their ways, the negative ways. But they're gonna bring these things to an end, divine feminines. They are ready for growth. The coffin. It's time to put these negative things, these negative ways about me to a rest. Let's lay them to rest. Let's. Let me free myself because I have the power to do so. They're seeing themselves divine feminines. They're looking in those mirrors every morning. I don't like what I see. <laughs> I'm very codependent. I need to free myself. 
I'm allowing people to control me. I am not happy. I'm not happy in this relationship I'm in. I'm not happy in at this job. I'm not happy staying here with family members who keep sucking me dry. Hmm. And like I said before, there are malicious people around your divine, fe um, divine masculine, the snake. And these are lovers, the other women, the other men. This person is being very clever in how they manipulate the masculine to keep them stuck. But the masculines are going to figure them out. Nothing stays hidden for a long time. Nothing stays hidden for a long time. Tell me about this protector, please. That's the one holding the masculine back. Oh my God. <laughs> There's someone again that's around your divine masculine that's trying to show your divine masculine. That, hey, you need to wake up. You need to see the truth. You met this new person. It's your chance to break free. It's your chance to move. It's your chance to get back out there. It's your chance to break free from these malicious people. It's your chance. Give this person a call. Set up a date. Go out. This person is guiding your divine masculine in the right way here. Inconstancy. Your masculines are not showing what it is that they truly feel about you. Your masculines feel like, hey, I have a lot of options. I need to make decisions. I don't know what to do. I know where I want to be. I know where I want to start. But, but, okay, so let me send this one message and let me just, let me just see if this person is still interested. Let me just see if they still would want to be with me. And as soon as they contact you, they pull back because they realize, yes, my person still wants to be with me. So they're doing this little string along thing. And it's because they are unsure of how things are going to turn out because of all the deception in their past. But they have a lot of passion for you, Divine Feminines, 1313. But again, it's in the past. The karmic relationships. These are the major things that were keeping them stuck. But they're learning their lessons. That's what's going to free them. Ding, ding. That's what's going to free them. Thank you. And for some, they're already free. And they're taking this time to heal. So they can move forward. Breaking those cycles. Setting themselves free. Setting themselves up for a new beginning. A new start. So now you see what's keeping them stuck, and now you see what they're going to be doing about it. <laughs> this has been your message, guys. To purchase a book or a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site. To purchase your protection bracelets, your money magnet bracelets, your chakra bracelets, your San Paolo incense, your sage incense, your chakra incense. And don't forget, guys, that I have the special going on now where you can purchase a chakra bracelet and you receive 20 chakra aligning incense for when you're meditating to balance your energy. You receive those free. You got to purchase the bundle. We got to search for the chakra bundle for it to apply. Okay. Anyways, guys, love you all. Let go and let God. Oh, I didn't tell you the website. Go to Twindy Holistic Boutique. That's square. That's site. For your goody goody stuff. 
Like what I got. Love you all. Later.